Time now for pop news. Look who's popping. Will Gans is here. Look who's popping. I like that. It's the best time of the morning. Pop news time, everybody. We begin with a musical mashup to the tune of, get this, Pussycat Dolls, One Direction, Destiny's Child, and Backstreet Boys. Members of each of those bands joining forces for a new show called Building the Band. Nicole Scherzinger, Liam Payne, and Kelly Rowland will serve as judges, and AJ McLean will host the new Netflix show. The show will have vocalists isolated in recording booths, choosing their bandmates without meeting face-to-face, -face, relying only on musical merit and chemistry. Filming for that Netflix show begins this summer. That is brilliant. And Nicole Scherzinger, my gosh, what a voice. What I a her talent. And they yeah. can't see each other at all. No, so it's like Love is Blind exactly. meets American <laughs> Idol meets... I'm surprised this show didn't come out in COVID. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I'll take yeah. it now. I'll take sure. it now. Very excited about that. And then this next story, you guys, has a little something for everybody. Music, arts, entertainment, and sports, Will Reeve. All coming together this weekend for Fanatics Fest. And Jay-Z kicked things off last night with a star-studded pop-up lounge that recreated the legendary 4040 Club. Fans who go this weekend, it's at the Javits Center here in New York City, can expect immersive exhibits like catching passes from Tom Brady or shooting hoops with gold medalist Kevin Durant. And once-in-a-lifetime photo ops with all of your favorite stars, live podcast recordings as well with the biggest names in sports and entertainment. Including Michael Strahan, who will be oh. there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's a lot of really awesome people there. Tiffany Haddish, for some reason. So, like, there really is something for everyone. <laughs> it's just the Michael Rubin verse in <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. That's is very what it is. Go. Good to know. Good to know. All right, I love this next story. For the first time in four years, the Scrabble Dictionary has added nearly 2,000 new words to the game's lexicon. And it's going to yeet millennial and Gen Z players to the top of the scoreboard. In fact, <laughs> yeet is one of the new words. Wait, what is that? You know what it yeet. is. Yeet. Yeet? yeet. He's going to tell oh, us. Am I the only one who knows this? What's yeet? I know it. Please, please. Please mark this. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeet. what is it? It's when you throw something, chuck it, kind of without abandon. Oh, yeah. Like yeet. when you have breaking news, you yeet yeah. the rundown. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and it's what's happening with the timing of the show right now. Yeah. It's just been yeeted. All right, also new to the official Scrabble Dictionary, grammable, which of course means yeah. images worthy of sharing online. Bougie, which means having bourgeois tastes and mm, attitudes. That's already a word, and they just misspelled it now. Okay, okay. floof, which is <laughs> an informal name for a furry animal, and newbie or newbie spelled either way, which means a newcomer. The new words go into official gameplay on January 1st, whether that's in tournaments or in your own home and if you guys want to absolutely destroy your family when you're playing together in 2025 here's my pro tip use the word kameez it's a long tunic worn in south asia it's spelled q a m e e z c that's 26 points and if you throw what? in a triple word score in there <laughs> game over wow your family i'm not playing scrabble, scrabble with him yeah. zax is also a great word z a x okay that is a word. listen okay. you needed I'm to know something new about you every minute yeah, I thank you contain will. Multitude guys. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to see you on ABC News Live, our streaming channel. That's More exactly right. More pop headlines. 10 a.m. on ABC News Live. Yeah.